Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Back. Try again. Take two. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my railroad, and I hope you're all having a good day. Hopefully, we're getting near the end of this uh, coronavirus uh, quarantine shutdown. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd take today to show you a little bit <coughs> of what I like to do with sound systems. I picked up a few on the internet, especially from a little company called Adafruit. Adafruit uh, Industries back in New York, New York, New Jersey, someplace back there. Really good company. I'll try to put a link in here uh, to them. But uh, today, I just want to show you a few of the things that I've done with lights and sound. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look and see what I've got here. Okay, I think you've all seen what I've done with my uh, father-in-law's lamp. Basically, we just put a uh, flashing uh, light in this thing. It's a flaming light. Looks pretty good. Does nicely. Good for the railroad here. Walk around with it at night. It actually is, is pretty light, pretty good. So we've got that for one of my attractions. And then I've got a few other items here that uh, I like to do with sounds and with lights. And uh, if you like that light, this is the same type of light here. And we end up with a burning building. And it doesn't look too bad from a certain angle so long as you can either make the windows opaque or just hide it behind a wall. It looks like a burning building. So that's one of these, and I'll show you what that really is. It's just a light bulb like this. Comes in, uh, I bought a package of four of them for 20 bucks. And it screws into a light socket, but you just take that light socket mechanism off, and it runs off of uh, six volts. These are four AA batteries. Okay, now I mixed up a little sound and some lights, some LED lights, and you always want to have a cannon handy in case somebody's upsetting the uh, the afternoon here. A little bit of a trigger handy. And now that same soundboard can be used in a different buildings. This is a building right out of the Garden Railways magazine. And as you can see, I put in double speakers, a uh, stereo amplifier, and this is the little soundboard from Adafruit. Great little board, it's about 25 bucks. Runs off of uh, three AAA batteries. So it doesn't take much power to run it. And uh, basically I have three different sounds. Now you can have nine, up to nine different sounds. This one, whoops, turned, held it too long. Okay, so here is the uh, festival sounds. No real lights or anything. Then you push it again a second time to turn it off. Now I also have one that's snoring, which is very long, but I have barnyard sounds. There's nine different sounds in there. Some are short. The dogs barking. As soon as the sounds stop, then you can go to the next one. And then I also put in, whoops, that's a long one. Boy, it's really long. Okay, still continuing. There it goes. Now this one can go on for a long time, so I'll ease your pain and just turn it off. But you, you can see you could add any number of sounds to this. And uh, I had one for an outhouse, but my wife wouldn't let me do that one. So instead, I've done some other things. Now, while we're here, here's the lighthouse. 
and I showed it to you in a different video. At night, this is really nice. It's very bright. It looks pretty good. And <clears throat> at an estate sale, I picked up this uh, uh, gazebo. And of course, the previous owner had put all the people in there. I really like some of the different bands. And uh, I picked this up at a uh, estate sale. So somebody else had actually made the model. And I just put all the electronics up on the roof in here. And with a single button, You can imagine the uh, players actually playing all this music. Drummers, piano, bass, guitars. Unfortunately, no singers on this one. So a second push of the button turns it back off. Now we come to the last of my fun things that I have here for today. Uh, of course, whenever you're in this area, Please do not use your cell phones because there is mine blasting going on over here at the Wine and Dine Mine. Now, with all good triggers, uh, of course I threw a little bit of this in. Danger, do not touch, and if you read the small print down here at the bottom, go ahead, you know you want to. So, we lift the trigger and we set it off. And that's uh, about what I have for today on my, uh, my tour of some of the electronics of the garden. I didn't bring out my cattle car. I also have a cattle car with, uh, uh, I put a ball bearing uh, sensors in it that if you move it any direction, it'll set off the, uh, the sounds. And again, like the farm sounds here in the, the cabin, I have, uh, I think, nine different sounds on it, and each one will pay, play randomly, so it doesn't play the same thing over and over. It just uh, will play the random musics. Anyway, if anybody's interested in uh, finding out about any of these sound systems, uh, if anybody's interested in uh, any of these sound systems, the name again is Adafruit, A-D-A-F-R-U-I-T, and you can look it up uh, online there comes my neighbor. Uh, I guess I'll cut this one short and talk to you later. You guys have a great day. So if anybody's interested in uh, any of the sound systems and uh, doing any of this. It's a very simple sound system to use. It's on uh, the website for Adafruit Industries. That's A-D-A-F-R-U-I-T, Adafruit. And uh, you can always uh, comment down below. And I, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, if you have any train projects or anything, I'd love to help you out, talk to you about them. So until next time, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, click the thumbs up below and we uh, will see you down the rails. Bye for now.